Minestrone is a versatile soup that takes advantage of local ingredients. I'll make this batch pretty basic. Just spices, onions, tomatoes, greens, dried beans, and potatoes. You can add other vegetables if they're available, such as beets or carrots. At the end, I'll add some spetzels, but I'll show you how to do that when we get there. Now I've chopped all the vegetables, I've soaked and I've cooked the beans, and I've put them in with everything that I need to take to the kitchen to actually go and cook. Now I've changed into my rattiest clothes to go to the fire. on the pot, let the pot heat up, then we add the oil, first on the onions. When some of the onions are starting to brown, add the tomatoes. And you cook the tomatoes with occasional stirring until they're cooked down a bit. As the tomatoes are cooking, we can add some spices. A little black pepper and these herbs de Provence. Those are beginning to look like cooked tomatoes. And we have the cooked beans. Some additional cooking water, about a liter. Cover the pot, make the fire as hot as possible, and wait for the soup to boil. Now it's boiling. Put in the potatoes, stir. Add a little salt. Cover. And let it cook for a while. For the spetzels I use an egg, about a cup of ufa, the maize flour used for making sema, the Malawian national cornmeal mush, a little oil, water, and salt. First crack an egg into the bowl. It's not rotten. Beat it well. Beat in a couple tablespoons of oil. Maybe a teaspoon or so of water. Beat that smoothly, then add in the corn flour, which we know as ufa. So we beat in enough flour to get the proper consistency, which can be anything. It can be a runny batter to a fairly solid dough. I usually make it fairly solid. This time I haven't made it quite as solid as pie crust dough. This is about like biscuit dough. Add a little salt. Maybe a quarter teaspoon. 
and work that in. And then we can take that out to the fire. We'll want a metal spoon and a scraper. So the potatoes have been boiling away for a while. Now we add the greens. And we just put them in to cook so that they wilt. So they're going to become bright green and wilted. We might need to add more water at the end. So I'll need to get more water. I want to add enough water to more than cover. I'll add more water. Don't want to fill it too high. Wait for that to return to a boil. Now that it's boiling nicely, we can do the dumplings or noodles or spetzels or whatever you want to call them. I like to spoon them in, so take a spoon's worth and just lay them on the top. and cover the soup. When the spetzels are finished, the soup is ready. So the spetzels are solid, they're done, and the soup is ready to eat. 